Oh no. Oh! oh! Wild, over-the-top ways people supposedly kick the bucket. Today, I am back at it with my wife, Jen. Hi. And we are reacting to A Thousand Ways to Die for the fifth time. Will these scenes be medically accurate or super far-fetched, but definitely hilarious? Mm -hmm. Let's dive right in. Forget this. For Trudy and Dennis, summertime meant one thing. Hopping fence. Pool hopping. Some ongoing construction had turned the backyard into a power tool house of horrors. Oh no. Oh no. Electricity plus water, never a good thing. Fun fact, if it is pure H2O, it is not a good conductor. Most waters have impurities and it's actually the impurities within the water that make the electrical charges happen. Cold beer and hot sun had Dennis okay. pushing his tool time luck. Oh no, no you're so Trudy. dumb. Yeah, how many staple gun injuries have you seen in the Staple ER? guns, we actually get a lot of staple guns. People accidentally shoot it through their fingers a lot or they shoot their buddy by accident in the head. You see them in like arms, through hands, but a lot of times through fingers. Does the right to bear arms include a nail gun? Put it down. Let's hope not. Oh. He just shot the can yes. out of her hands. Super dangerous, please don't do this. Dennis's downfall good. picks up speed with a big sheet of plastic. Okay, he's trying to do a slip and slide. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was chilling. Dennis failed to Oh no! I don't even know if we need to ask this, but would old pool hopper survive? Yes, he wouldn't die that fast. Maybe if he lacerates major blood vessel, because it's sharp enough to cut through the sternum. So at least it would have taken a while. Yes. Oh, no. oh. oh! You have a whole trail of intestines laying on that board. Is that what intestines look like? I don't actually ever want to know. No, they're not that plump. Dave had a dream. Ready? He wanted to look as carved and cut as a professional bodybuilder. Yeah. Yeah. The problem was, the Dave was uh, as lazy as he was vain. Oh, Dave. He has a lot of pictures. That's half the battle. You gotta envision yourself. Envision, you have, a, have to have a vision, vision board. board. Jeez. Yeah. Don't they say abs are made in the kitchen? Absolutely. So, a lot of this is diet mm -hmm. and obviously exercise. Following you can do the it. path of least persistence, Dave came up with a perfect shortcut. Perfect shortcut? Liposuction. Well, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you're gonna use liposuction, you gotta have the meat underneath it to show it. So he may actually be jacked underneath there. You actually don't know. There was no way Dave could afford a real plastic surgeon. Oh, geez. His solution, do it himself. <gasps> What have you had botched surgeries of any kind? Not just like this, too many to count. People are looking for a deal. They gotta be really careful with it. But he'd need help. Jenny, what's up boss? Dale, how are you buddy? <laughs> I'm good, yourself? Good man. So if we just make incisions, little incisions. Whoa, 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 what kind of friend? Okay, well, is that friend has his back. I mean, that is a good friend in theory. I wanna know how they're gonna do it. For anesthesia, some freeze spray. My arm's already numb. Oh my gosh, the magic freeze spray. Does that exist? Sometimes they'll use that if somebody injures themselves in a sporting event and they spray it on, it feels really good. But does the skin die? As long as it's like moving and doesn't stick and becomes frostbitten. For the all important sucking power, a garage. <laughs> that is a cruel. What is he? He's got. This what is he like, a trash bag on? Is this, this Dexter? Uh, I was just about to say, <laughs> Dexter would do it a lot better. I feel like you should have at least knocked him out first. A little bit of old school alcohol, maybe? Or just like. <laughs> <laughs> and hit the switch. Okay. It's working. It's gotta be a vacuum. It's definitely a shot back. Dave's vacuum could suck 210 cubic feet of air per minute. A normal house vacuum is in the 30 to 40 range. A typical liposuction motor has a CFM rating of wow. only three. What does that even mean? So the suction devices at a hospital are much more gentle versus these things are very tough, very rigid, very unregulated. This is even. But then <gasps> the fat hit the oh, fan. Oh, that's not. Johnny mistakenly locked onto a piece of Dave's oh, intestines no. and began sucking the life out of his dumb friend. What? You have to get into the abdominal cavities. If you cut the skin, you're in the subcutaneous fat, your muscles underneath that. You wouldn't be able to suck the organs out because you're in the you're in a different superficial layer. layer. Right. Before he could pull the Turn plug, the machine off. Johnny had sucked enough oh. of Dave's guts to turn him from a fatty 
into a fatality. Wow. Holy cow. If you suck out somebody's intestine, do they die? No. You just clamp it shut and hopefully you get to a hospital before you become septic and die. But you can function without them working for a couple days. Garth didn't want to miss one second of the action. Pizza delivery. Yeah, yeah. Oh my We're gosh, my pizza sounds so good. Pineapple, does it belong on pizza? Let us know in the comments because that's my favorite and I feel like those are fighting words for yeah, some people. <laughs> very, very angry people. He had a steady stream of junk food delivered. <clears throat> and for his bathroom needs, an empty bottle took care of number one. And a specially designed bucket seat took care of what came out the other end. Come on! Come on! We have so many people that come in who are super sick that literally pee and poop themselves in their own bed, in their own chairs. And they have ulcers and broke down skin. Maybe family members are not there. They forgot about their loved one. So sad. It's so common, unfortunately. It's so common? So common. After 52 <gasps> hours, Garth's bad diet and worse hygiene produced body sores, but he didn't care. Those look like bad abscesses. He looks Ill. not well. Yeah. He needs some sunlight, he needs some vitamin D, he needs some water. Yeah, he needs some water. <laughs> and drop. <gasps> oh, I want to see what happens like when he stands up. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Passes out. Garth was a gun. Athletes can just like drop dead. There's something called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Try saying that 10 times fast. There's too much muscle in the heart and you're not getting any blood going through the outflow tract. Could you just have a heart attack from bad dieting, stress, lack of sleep? Maybe you had Maybe. a blood clot. Could have had a blood clot. Ah, the great outdoors. Where else can you enjoy a hot chick and a pole without blowing your paycheck? <laughs> What, what are they talking about? about? Yeah, what are they <laughs> referencing? Kathy's fish came soaring out of the sky into her wide open mouth. <gasps> Stop. No, it didn't. And lodged no. itself deep down what? her throat. First, I thought it was going to be a fishing hook. I've seen it a couple times. If you can reverse it, great. But sometimes you actually have to cut that barb off and then pull it back out the other direction. Oh, come the on. The outside of a fish is composed of thousands of scales which are like individual plates on the outside of the plate. So it can reverse it. It was like barbs. Anything that grabs hold, choking her to death. Come on. Come on. Unless it's lodged in the trachea, she can breathe through her nose. I was thinking this. Unless you're bleeding so much, you drown yourself in your own blood. Or vomit. But if the esophagus is blocked, vomiting would help and you vomit out the fish. This seems fishy to me. Would she have died? Ha <laughs> ha I don't see how it's lodged in the trachea. Yeah, I don't think so. So most likely not. So these are very interesting. Some are realistic. I don't know about the nail. I don't know about the guy's liposuction. That's crazy. You're these are crazy. Call it what it is. Come on, sit in your little gamer chair, pooping and peeing your pants. Oh my gosh. And then you stand up and you die. Come on. Anyway, I don't know what number. I want to know where these people live. Let us know. We should react to even more of them. Because as you know, there's a thousand ways. A thousand ways. And if you guys enjoyed this, please do me a favor. Make sure you subscribe, turn those bell notifications on, hit that like button. And there's a playlist right here that you need to definitely check out. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you say it like that. That's perfect. Bye. Later.